Kaylee, what is our fourth main topic today? John, our main topic comes from Michael Johnson. Yesterday, the first reviews for Black Adam came, and they're not the kind of reviews that suggest a new hierarchy of power. As of the writing of this email, the film holds a 54%, with 5.4 out of 10 average rating from 61 reviews. Just how much is Warner Brothers hoping those underwhelming trailers didn't turn too many people off now that these reviews aren't going to encourage people who were on the fence on whether they wanted to see this film? Thanks for taking my question. I mean, John, it's... Uh, I don't think this is the reviews that Warner Brothers was hoping for. What are your thoughts? No, they're not. Mm -mm. They're not. Mm -mm. And, and you know, it's funny because when the first reactions came out prior to the reviews, because the reviews are out now, but when the first reactions came out, they were, it's, we love Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's fun. Story's a little weak. Uh, pretty forgettable uh, villain, but, uh, you know, we liked it. And so we're like, okay, I mean, that's really all I needed to hear. And now that the full reviews are out, that's the sentiment that we're getting. And it's kind of hovering around where you might have thought hearing those initial reactions. As of right now, Black Adam is holding at 55%, mm. which means that the majority of, it's a small majority, but the majority of critics like the movie, right? 55, more than one out of every one is liking the movie. I mean, it's, that's that's wrong ratios. One out of every one, more than one out of every two is saying one out of every one is 100%. So one out of every yeah. two, more than one out of every two is saying like it. Okay, so that's kind of wrong. And the criticisms we're hearing are pretty universal. Like it's fun. Dwayne Johnson's amazing in it. Uh, Pierce Brosnan's amazing in it. We're hearing that. But the story could have used a lot of work. It, was Warner Brothers hoping for better than this? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, this makes it, as of right now, at any rate, because as of this moment, the last I checked, it's holding at 55%. That makes it the fourth worst critically rated DCE movie right now. Let's jump over to the Campy Classroom here for a second. We've got this. All right. So as we look at the chart of what's going on here with Black Adam and the DCU and how these ratings have all kind of compared up against each other, this is what we got. Peacemaker is their number one rated thing. Mm. All glory, hallelujah, as well it should be with a 94%. Wonder Woman is their next best one with 93%. Shazam with 90. Love that movie. The Suicide Squad at 90%. Uh, that to be confused with Suicide Squad. This is James Gunn's Suicide Squad with a 90%. Birds of Prey, which should say 19%, but it's 79%. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League being reviewed as a separate thing. That comes in next with 71%. Aquaman at 65. Wonder Woman 1984, uh, significantly lower than the first one at 58%. Man of Steel, which should be 100%, but, you know, it's 56%. Black Adam then comes in there at 55%. Uh, the theatrical version of Justice League at 39. Batman versus Superman at 29. And then the original Suicide Squad at 26%. So this does put Black Adam down in the bottom half other reviews. Did they want better than this? Absolutely. Is it going to stop this movie from having a $120 million plus dollar opening weekend? No. The question will be, what is the word of mouth that comes out? Is the audience that's going to come out, are they going to be hit more with the fun of the movie? Or are they going to get hit more with the bad story of the movie? What, what is going to make the bigger impression on the audience that they go? Because you never know. Until the audience goes, you just don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to be hit more with the rockisms and the fun of it, or am I going to be hit more with the poor story of it? I mean, I just don't know. And by the way, I'm saying poor, poor story like that's a fact. I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm seeing it tomorrow. So there's that. But no, no matter which way you cut it, it's not the reviews they were hoping to see. Anyway, Aaron, you're seeing the reviews coming out about it. Is, is this right where you thought it was? Is it higher? Is it lower? And what kind of impact do you think it can have? You know, it's actually lower than what I anticipated. You know, there was so much buildup to this movie. You know, we've been hearing about it for a long time. We've been, and there was all, also a lot of secrecy initially around it. And there was a lot of will, will he, won't he. And then it was announced. It was a big thing. And we saw him this year at CinemaCon. Yeah. You know, really came out, made a big presence. They've been promoting this movie. And I find it strange that a movie that there, well, I guess I shouldn't. 
It's Hollywood. I was about to say, I find it strange that they're doing so much to promote a movie without having done all the homework on the front end to make it a really good movie that didn't have any holes. But then again, wait a minute, what world are we living in? It's Hollywood. Sometimes that happens. A lot of times that happens. Um, but it is it is disappointing to hear. But I agree with you. The Rock is one of those actors that people love to come out and watch. They love to come out and see him, especially doing the things that he's doing in this movie. I think that a movie like um, uh, uh, the, the Boat, it's at Disney World. Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. I think Jungle Cruise was a, a departure for him because it wasn't the rock doing the things that the rock does that we love seeing him do and this the role of black adam i think it's a it's more powerful it's more of an action hero we get to see more of his different you know personalities come through where he gets to be a little bit evil but then also save the day um i think this is gonna be a really fun movie that people enjoy seeing if they're fans of the rock i just don't know if it's gonna do the thing that they want it to do which is to bring in people outside of his fan base but then again he's got a pretty significant fan base so um i think that as far as numbers go it, it could go either way i'm not as confident as you are given these reviews but at the same time um i do understand where you're coming from with that all right, Chris, what do you think about these numbers that we see coming out? Ooh, this is not great. This is not great. But that being said, critics often haven't, you know, quote unquote, gotten it right. You know, we've seen films that have been far more like rigorously reviewed with bombings, right? Like some really, really low numbers do really well at the box office. And a lot of times too, like we'll, we'll call a spade a spade. Sometimes as fans, we just get so hyped when we're in the theater with our, our fellow comic book geeks and we're like, yeah, this is great. I love this communal experience. Take all my money. I'm going to see this movie three times. If it's fun, we come back, right? Sometimes we give a little forgiveness on story and things like that. That being said, to Aaron's point, the level of hype around this movie, the whole, you know, the power balance is going to forever change in the DCU. This is shaking everything up. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. That is a very high expectation to have set. And I understand, you know, Dwayne Johnson, he's a wrestler. He comes from wrestling. He's a fantastic actor, but you got to hype the crowd. You got to tell them how they need to feel, right? <laughs> and I think we oversold a little bit here. Mm. I think we went a little too far on how this was going to be a shattering, life-changing film, at least within the confines of the DCEU. I'm hoping I go in and have fun. I'm still definitely going to see this. I'm so excited about seeing Dr. Fate. I mean, come on, Pierce Brosnan is Dr. Yes. Fate. That's yeah, I mean, epic. I, I got that's, that's, that's so going to be good. awesome. He looks so cool. But from the trailers that we've seen, I haven't been blown away by any of that. I've thought that this looks like, you know, a typical superhero film. And I'm hoping that I go in and that, you know, it exceeds my expectations. I'm just, Ray, where's where's your anticipation level? Is this one you're excited to see or not excited to see? Like, where are you at on this? Uh, all I'm thinking about right now is the fans who won those Black Adam Funko Pops. <laughs> There's no returns on those, please. <laughs> Don't try to send them back. Um, hey, the signatures are worth the. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the pop take, it's the, take, take the autographs. Um, you know what? I didn't expect story. I mean, just give me some explosions. The only concern I have is the length of the movie. I thought you can only do that so much where even I'll fall asleep after a while. That's yeah, not mean, a two and a half hour movie. I think it's right around the two hour mark, I think. So it's, so, it's not uh, tremendously long. Just give me that and I'm fine. I mean, it, the, Story comes last to me when it comes to movies. <laughs> <laughs> what comes first, the Ray? Ray or uh, the rule of cinema? Duration? duration? And so, then, if I, duration. so if I said, hey, there's this movie and it has a terrible storyline, but it's only 60 minutes long. Look, I'll forever say one of the best movies of the year was that Michael Bay... Um, Ambulance? No, 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 no. Michael Bay, uh, the Ninja Turtles, the first one. Oh, oh I did oh. like that movie. It was an hour and... 40 minutes. Okay, I was going to say that that one's more fun than people get yeah. credit and No, no, that first one is actually, it's a fun I like time. that yeah, first I, one. I did. will always go back to that one because it ended so quickly and I was like, I got everything <laughs> so I wanted. Quick. I got everything I wanted. Now you're just describing your sex life. So I just, <laughs> so. What's that? Allegedly. 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 That one day. All right, yeah. guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I mean, listen, I don't think any of us were expecting Shakespeare out of uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Black Adam. But, you know, I mean, the critics love a lot of comic book movies. They've loved, again, when we look at the Campion Classroom, they love a lot of DC movies. You're talking about Shazam at 90, Wonder Woman at 93, Peacemaker at 94, Suicide Squad at 90. I, I mean, the critics can love this stuff, but they're not really digging this one. At least, you know, the majority of critics seem to like it, so I don't know. We'll see. What are you guys expecting out of this movie? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your 
Thoughts? Hey guys, we want to take a second and thank a sponsor of today's video, DraftKings. NBA fans, the wait is over. Basketball is back, so tip off the new season with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers can make any $5 NBA Moneyline bet and get $200 in free bets if your team wins. So check this out. In addition to the usual bets, everyone can boost up their winnings up to 100% with DraftKings stepped-up same-game parlays. Just go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, opt in, and place a stepped-up same-game parlay today. With payouts bigger than ever, DraftKings Sportsbook is where you need to go to bet on the NBA. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use the promo code CAMPIA, that's C-A-M-P-E-A. Make any $5 bet this week and get $200 in free bets if your team wins. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code CAMPIA. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See the show notes for details.